Hey guys, this is episode. I guess this is episode five or six. Something will be probably be there somewhere. Um, of Galactic Overlord, the sneak peek and the new set. What cards we can look forward to? Uh, where I'm basically gonna go over all the cards that are in the set and if they're useful and rarities and stuff like that. Um, as for the first card, we got. Neo Galaxy Eyes, Photon Dragon. It's ultra rare, ultimate rare, and ghost rare. It's basically the cover card, also on the playmat. Um, yeah, it's level 8, XYZ light, has a trigger effect. Um, uh, rank 8, sorry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it has 4500 attack and 3000 uh, defense. Um, so it requires 3 level uh, 8 monsters, so it's basically impossible to make um, just like all the other monsters I mean Quasi Dragon and stuff like that Sophia and all those but uh, when this card is exceed summoned using Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon as material negate the effects of all face up other cards on the field once per turn detach one material from this card detach all materials from permanent cards and this card gains 500 for each one it can attack up to that many times during the battle phase this turn. So, cool effect, but you'll never get this card out. And if you do, it's game anyway. So, um, um, then we got we have all these cards actually in this episode are exceeds. So that's pretty cool. We got number um, number thirty-two, Marine Bitter Dragon Shark Drake. It's kind of repeating itself in name but Dragon Drake yeah <laughs> um, it's a sea serpent level 4 has 28 and uh, rank 4 I'm always saying level sorry but uh, yeah it, it needs 3 level 4 monsters so that's downside to it but works well in gadgets I would say 3 level 4s would be easy um, once per turn, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, sends it to the graveyard, you can detach one material from this card, special summon that monster from the graveyard to your opponent's side of the field in face up attack position. Um, I don't know how useful this card would be. Um, since it's summoning to a opponent's side of the field, I mean, I would any time rather go for any other monster than than this guy because just having that special summon is, is really bad but um, I'm gonna make this uber short I'm always telling myself that I'm gonna make this shorter every time but it never works we got a level uh, rank 6 warrior um, type, uh, monster light type monster with 27 and 20 it's Requires two level six monsters, so basically a lot of these cards you will never get out at the sneak, but it will be cool drawing them. Um, the effect once per turn during other player's turn when a monster's effect is activated on your opponent's side of the field, you can detach one material from this card, negate that effect, and if you do, inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. This card is really cool if you actually get it out. Also, the 27 it gets over. Leviathan and, and a lot of stuff, so um, pretty cool. Plus, the burning damage is just a bonus. I got Photon uh, support even more. It uh, it's called Photon Papillarative. Papillarative. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's, it's light, uh, rank 4, attack 21, and defense 18. Has an ignition effect. Which is once per turn you can detach one material from this card, change one defense position monster your opponent controls to face up attack position, and it loses six on attack. So pretty good for people setting cards, but it's not that often seen with people setting cards. So uh, then we got number twenty-five, Force Focus. It is also a rank six, and the effect is once per turn. When either player's turn, you can detach one material from this card to target one face up 5 or higher effect monster your opponent controls. Negate the effect of 
that face of monster until the end of the turn. So basically, it's just a negation of the effect. Pretty cool for well those effects that you can't get over, but the fact that it has to be a level five or higher effect monster is pretty useless. Be well, the heretics obviously, but they end up going to exceeds anyways. So I don't see the the point of playing that one. But um, but yeah, maybe it won't be tagged some way somewhere. Uh, next up, we got Gaia Knight, the Thunder Charger. Actually, pretty cool card. Um, requires two level sevens. Uh, has twenty six, twenty one, uh, and it's a continuous plus summon. Uh, effect. So um, you can also use exceed summon by using one rank. Uh, one face up rank five or, si uh, or six monster as you control as the material materials attached to that monster also become materials of this card so basically um, one of the monsters which you use to make this card is a level seven and the other one can be either a a rank five or rank six monster um, pretty cool plus it gets a lot of more um, materials under it uh, this way, but yeah, exceed materials. Um, uh, yeah, let's see, exceed materials so that monster also will come to this card. Yeah, if this card attacks a defense position, it pierces. That is the only thing, and that's pretty boring, actually. Um, oh, yeah, let's see what rarities there are. We got the photon strike bouncer. Which I guess was the last one, and it's gonna be a secret rare. The other ones are, yeah, bad. Oh, whoa, no, no, it, it, it was only a super rare actually. The Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger, super rare. But now we got Heretic Dragon King of Autumn, um, it's also super rare. Um, it requires two level six dragon type monsters. So it's it's the her yeah heretic support obviously uh, since a lot of them are level six once per turn detach one from this card special summon one dragon type monster from your deck make its attack and defense zero and uh, this card cannot attack the turn this card of, uh, card effect activate was activated so basically what you do is you get this guy out. To special summon red MD um, from the deck, uh, and then you use red MD's effect to special summon the Dragon Sun, which is also a level eight. Then you overlay those two um, to make a level uh, a rank eight guy, and, and that's basically how it goes. Um, I don't know which level eights that will. Be at this set, but this is one of them. Uh, we got the Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord of Helipolis. Helipolis. Um, it is gonna be a secret rare. Yeah. So so we gotta see forward to being maybe some of the big high price cards. This one, uh, if the Heretic cards will. Uh, be popular. It's um, an ignition effect, so Valor, uh, Bottomless Trapper, and all that stuff can stop it. That's the good thing. Um, once per turn, you can detach one material from this card. Tribute any mo uh, any monster from from your hand and or your side of the field. Minimum one. Then destroy an equal of cards on the field. So you can actually just um, after you make the other combo, make the six. Uh, Get Red MD, get the Sun overlay to this one, use its effect to, yeah, to to tribute the level six, uh, rank six guy, and then you can destroy at least one card. Feels so, yeah, but at the sneak it will be useless. But I guess it's it's pretty good actually. But yeah, then we got um, Queen Dragoon Dijun. Um, it's gonna be super rare. Um, sorry if I missed some of the rarities, but you can always check it on uh, on yukiyovikia.com. Great site. Um, 
it requires two level four monsters. Uh, oh, time. <laughs> uh, dragon type monsters, except this one cannot be destroyed for battle. Once per turn, detach one material from this card to target one level five or higher dragon type monster in a graveyard. Special summon. Uh, its effect is negated and it cannot attack this turn. Um, it's pretty cool in the dragons, but it's level four and the heretics can't use this. You would basically have to take it in some other dragon type deck. Um, now we got number f uh, 50 Insector Exa stack. Looks pretty damn cool. I mean, this is some artwork. This this just looks nice. It's really cool. But it has 800 800, which makes me kind of wonder. But it requires two level 5 Insector type monsters. That will be easy with the with the new Ladybug. It's actually called. It's not Grolf. It's Ladybug now. Um, you can make it with that. Once per turn, detach one material from this card. Target uh, one monster your opponent controls, or in your opponent's graveyard. Equip it to this card. This card gains the attack of half the equipped uh, attack and defense. Yeah, basically. I mean, if they have something high on the field or in the graveyard, it would be pretty cool. The thing I like about this is you can take one uh, one monster he controls, um, and not just uh, one from the graveyard. Um, another thing I like about this card is that if you get to use its effect two times, it would be pretty cool, and you will have stacked up. A lot of attack points actually but yeah that's it for uh, for today and thanks for watching